<laughs> What's going on everybody? You can't see me here today back again with the video tutorial. How's everybody doing? Well, I hope. All right, we're going to talk about how to install the correct operating system if you're using the offline system update diagnostic tool. Ah, that's a mouthful. And it's for the Xbox One when you're installing it on your USB. All right. Basically, if you're trying to update your Xbox One manually, it's a process that Microsoft and X, uh, Xbox One have up on the site. So I'm going to show you which operating system you need to choose, okay? How to unzip it and how to correctly put the file on your USB, the right folder structure, so that it works when you put it in your Xbox and apply this update manually, okay? All right. So here we go. First, get a USB thumb drive with at least two gigabytes of space. You need it to have at least two gigs so it'll be able to hold all of the information from the operating system. Then all you'll want to do is install the thumb drive into your system. So go ahead and install the thumb drive into your system. I don't have a lot of room on the front, so I have to put it in a uh, 3.0 hub that I have connected. But you put it in. And then you'll see the pop up for the thumb drive on your screen. Um, next, we're going to format it. So I'll show you how to format it to NTFS. OK, so once you insert your thumb drive, a lot of times you'll get this auto play pop up and you open the folder. If you didn't open the folder, go to your start menu and click on computer. And once you click on computer, you should get a window like this. Find your USB drive this is mine and it is empty so what we're gonna do now is format it to NTFS to format it right click on the file on the folder the USB and go to format by default it's normally FAT32 and it says default you're gonna change the file system to NTFS once you change it to NTFS you're gonna click start and leave quick format checked and if it isn't checked click it then click start mine is an 8 gigabyte so if you have a 2 it'll probably say 1.8 or something like that but um go ahead and format it'll say warning is gonna erase all click OK and the process is starting you'll see this green bar fill up and when it's done, it will be ready for use and compatibility with your Xbox One. So what I'm going to do is uh, fast forward it. So the formatting is complete. Click OK. You can go ahead and close that. Now the thumb drive is compatible with the operating system. And next we're going to get the operating system and unzip it. So, next we need to download the system update diagnostic tool. If you look in the description and follow the link, you'll get to the following web page. I'll show you the web page. So, if you follow the link below in the description, it'll take you to this page on how to use the offline system update diagnostic tool. Scroll down to step two, and you're welcome to read step one. It's on formatting, which we've already done. Um, but the beginning is on formatting step one is telling you how to find your operating system But I'm gonna explain that but you're welcome to read it So in step two, this is where you download your operating system. There are two operating system OS UDT1 and OS UDT2 These are the two you'll need the third is restore factory defaults, but we're not gonna worry about that unless these don't work now OS UDT1 is if your system is brand new fresh out the box and it just wasn't working and this will be your first time really playing it or using it you'll use OS UDT1 OS UDT2 is probably what you're going to use if you had the green screen freeze the black screen of death um, or any of those where it's just freezing you've been playing your game and now it's messing up you're gonna use two so what we'll do and the two clickable links are on the right column the green we're going to click on OSUDT2. And then you should see this window up here um, with the zip file. And what you'll do is save it. 
Um, I save mine. I, I have it where I can choose where I want it to save, but you may normally, if you don't know, it down it goes to your downloads usually. Um, you can even click at the desktop. For the purposes of this, I'm going to click desktop, but I save it wherever you're comfortable, and it's normally in downloads if you weren't able to choose. Click save. I already have it here, so I'm not going to do it, but you would save it. And you'll have this zipped up folder file of the OSUDT2 on your desktop or in your folder of choice. Okay, so next you'll need to unzip the file. To unzip it, I use 7-zip. I recommend using that. It's free. It's all. It'll also be in the link. Um, and you can go to 7-zip and download it. And I will actually show you that as well. Once you click on the link, you go to 7-zip and check your operating system, whether it's Windows 32, 64-bit, you'll have to know that. Um, you can look in your computer and find it. Download for mine is 64-bit EXE. So you click on it, a window pops up. Download it, save the file, and then you will run this file. I'll save it. Already have it, click save, you'll get this file. Let's see my downloads. So you'll double click to execute the file, click yes and install. I'm not gonna totally go through the installation process uh, for this, that's another video, but if you need help, just click and let me know. Uh, excuse me, leave a comment, let me know, I'll show you how to do that. So once you've downloaded 7-zip, right click on the zipped up folder, go to 7-zip, click extract files. You can use extract files or extract here. Extract files, you'll see this. Extract files will extract an exact uh, duplicate. I already have it, but this will come up. Uh, this probably won't even come up. You will just see this screen and it will unzip it. I'm going to cancel it because this is what comes up if you do extract files. You'll just get a duplicate file. You'll click inside and this is the file you want, the system update file. If you unzip extract here, it will only extract what's inside the folder so I've done it and it leaves you with this folder so this and this are the same I'm just showing it to you how it would appear on your desktop once you unzip it it'll either be here or it'll be inside this folder so this is the file that you want to pull onto your USB so what I do is open another window, go to your start menu. I have the infinite loop because I'm trying to show you the start menu. But you'll go to your start menu, click on my computer, and it'll open up a second window. I'm gonna remove this. So now that we have two windows, this is the thumb drive. You click on the thumb drive, open it up fully. Take system update only. Don't worry, and the, all the contents will be inside. Pull system update onto your USB thumb drive like so. You could pull it directly here. It's just depending on how you use your computer, but pull it into the folder. And it's copying. Um, on mine it says it's going to take about five seconds that may take a little longer so I'm going to pause it okay so now the file should be fully moved uh, and transferred to your USB thumb drive the system update is there this is OS UDT2 now you're ready to move it to your Xbox and begin your manual system update alright so that's how you properly install the correct operating system onto a USB for the Xbox update that you're trying to do manually, their uh, system manual system update diagnostic tool, okay? That's how you get it on, the correct file onto your thumb drive. I had a lot of people asking about how to do it, um, and a lot of different steps they don't explain fully. Um, so 
if you want to know how to fully fix your Xbox black screen of death or the green screen or any freezing um, issue that you have with your system because that's what I ran into um click on this link below or look in my tech help videos I show how to do the full process um, and even holding the buttons on your system to get your Xbox one back functioning properly okay this right here just details specifically which file to get how to format your USB how to get it on there and then if you look at the other video you'll see what you do with your system all right so I appreciate it if this video helps uh, like comment subscribe 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 let me know what else i could do to include to help make the video better or uh, um you know if it helped you let me know um anything that helped let me know all right i appreciate it i catch y'all later you can't see me make your next move your best move peace you can't see me your favorite gamer Zoom, zoom, Lego. Zoom, 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 Lego.